Tigranocerta, also called Kalima or Clomeran in antiquity, was a city and the capital of the Armenian kingdom, between 77 and 69 BCE. It bore the name of Tigranes the Great, who founded the city in the 1st century BC. There is so far no common agreement on the precise location of Tigranarket, it was either near present-day Silvan, Azon, east of Diyarbakir, Turkey, or in the valley of the Garzon River where is mentioned by T.A. Sinclair. It was one of four cities in historic Armenia named Tigranarket. The others were in Nakhichevan, Atsuk, and Utik, the four cities being in the old Armenian provinces Olznik, Goten, Utik, Atsuk. Chapter 1 History To create this city, Tigranes forced many people out of their homes to make up the population. Armenia at this time had expanded east to the Caspian Sea, west to central Cappadocia, and south towards Judea, advancing as far as the regions surrounding what is now the Crac des Chevaliers. The city's markets were filled with traders and merchants doing business from all over the ancient world. Tigranocerta quickly became a very important commercial, as well as cultural center of the Near East. The magnificent theater that was established by the great king, of which he was an avid devotee, conducted dramas and comedies mostly played by Greek as well as Armenian actors. Plutarch wrote that Tigranocerta was a rich and beautiful city where every common man and every man of rank studied to adorn it. The Hellenistic culture during the Artaxiad dynasty had a strong influence and the Greek language was in fact the official language of the court. Tigranes had divided Greater Armenia, the nucleus of the empire, into four major strategic regions or viceroyalties. A Roman force under Lucius Licinius Lucullus defeated Tigranes at the Battle of Tigranocerta nearby in 69 BC, and afterwards sacked the city, sending many of the people back to their original homes. After the plunder, which included the destruction of statues and temples, the city was set ablaze. An abundant quantity of gold and silver was carried off to Rome as war booty. Lucullus took most of the gold and silver from the melted down statues, pots, cups and other valuable metals and precious stones. During the pillage most of the city's inhabitants fled to the countryside. The newly established theatre building was also destroyed in the fire. The great city would never recover from this devastating destruction. During Pompey the Great's conquests of the east, Tigranocerta was retaken briefly by Rome, but was lost when Tigranes the Great was given parts of his kingdom back after his initial surrender to Pompey for the cost of 6,000 talents. It was again taken by the Romans under Corbulo, during the Roman Parthian War of 58-63. During late antiquity Tigranocerta was commonly referred to as Clomeron, which was either another name or the name of a more significant settlement near the ancient one. In 587 during the reign of Emperor Maurice, Clomeron and much of Armenia came under Roman administration after the Romans defeated the Sassanid Persian Empire at the Battle of the Blarathon. During the Ottoman period, Armenians referred to the city of Diyarbakir as Dikranijud.